Over the last four months, Solana's price has been struggling to see any type of momentum, leading many investors to question what in the world is going on with it, why is this happening, and what can we expect in the future. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a rundown of exactly what all is going on, why this price drop honestly isn't that much of a bad thing, and why I personally am buying more Solana even at this point. And so with that said, let's not waste any more time at all, and let's get straight into today's video. So let's start off with a brief reason and introduction as to why I believe Solana is trending downwards, and then I'm going to give you two key reasons as to why I'm actually getting more optimistic about Solana and even adding more to my own portfolio. So looking at the chart here again, from January 22nd to now, it has been a pretty consistent downtrend. We can clearly see that this is a descending channel, one that we've talked about many times on this channel, and that generally does mean that we are in some type of more macro pullback or correction, as you can see here. And the key reason as to why I'm under the belief that this is happening is simply just the fundamental value of where Solana is currently compared Compared to where it was in November. What I've talked about on this channel multiple times is that this little bottom that we were putting in back here before the FTX crash very easily could have been one of the bear market lows. We very easily could have been establishing a foundation to get some type of possible dead cat bounce here, but of course the FTX crash did cancel all of those plans and force the price to the downside. So of course considering where this price was at this given point, many people are going to say that this is the level of value that Solana had before everything happened with FTX. Now, clearly, if we're going to get back above that level, that means that Solana is more valuable than it was before the FTX crash happened. And I simply just don't believe that that's where we are now. I think most macro investors and most big traders are looking at this from a proposition of value and saying, listen, Solana is not yet capable of getting back above this level. We are not in a better position than we were before the FTX crash happened. And so, of course, because of that, we are simply just not ready for this price to get back above the upside. And many people are going to continue to sell off at this level because they did lose so much when this FTX crash didn't happen that it is going to take some time to get all of those investors out before the price can get through this level. So simply said, it's just a value proposition. It's people saying that we are not ready. And honestly, I think that's fine because it gives the Solana team more time to fix some of the mistakes that they've made, continue to develop, continue to grow, and simply do things that will bring more value to Solana as a whole, which of course will then be reflected in the price when the time is right. Now, moving forward, I told you all that there were two key things that I was noticing that were making me more and more optimistic about Solana's price. Let me explain to you what those are. So technically speaking, in terms of the charts itself, this descending wedge is a key, key identifier that we very easily could see some type of more macro growth to the upside. What you have to understand is that after these moments, after these times and these points in time in which we do get these huge rallies to the upside, in which we saw Solana, of course, pump over 240% over the span of a few weeks, we are usually going to get some type of correction and some type of cooldown. Now, generally speaking, when you have a correction or a cooldown, it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be slow and steady to the downside and something more gradual or very immediate to the downside, which is a bad thing. And of those two options, I'm under the belief that the slow and steady gradual decline is a healthy correction, which indicates that there are still people who have a lot of faith in Solana or have a lot of faith in the crypto that we're talking about. And so in a circumstance in which we are are seeing such a strong pump leading to just a general nice pullback in a structure or descending wedge that generally and historically will break to the top side is a fantastic sign that this could be a fantastic time to load up on some Solana. Another thing we can see here is on this daily chart prime oscillator, we are getting all of the indicators necessary to say that some type of bottom can be forming as we do have this little correction here. We're getting this bullish divergence, the bullish momentum dots playing out, your green reversal triangle, your blue peak finder. All we need now is the oversold signal to flash and Solana could be in a position in which it does break out towards the upside of this thing and really start to look for some growth. And so considering people are still so confident in Solana and the fact that this cooldown is very healthy is a great sign that this thing could see some growth, especially over the next few months. Now, how long do we stay in this descending channel? Well, you can never really know. Of course, I think that we are very likely to get some type of macro move if at any given point we get back to this liquidity zone between $16 and $15. So obviously that would have to happen sometime around August towards the later side of the year. So maybe if this thing does continue in this channel until then, that is the point in time which I would expect that breakout to the upside. But you know, given this market and who really knows at what given point we could see some extreme volatility enter the market in any direction. Now, this is not 100% guaranteed. Of course, we could get the price pushed to the downside out of this thing. It is not the likely option, but it is possible. And so because of that, I am optimistic, but I'm not getting unreasonable. And so I am just, you know, slowly dollar 
lower cost averaging here. Now, another thing that I am noticing and that it is a pretty big narrative, at least in my opinion for Solana, is what is happening from a more fundamental perspective, which is the second reason that I am buying more and more right now. So we got a report recently that said that Bitcoin and Ethereum users were flocking to Solana the moment that we started to see all of the fees and the slowdowns happening on Bitcoin and Ethereum due to things like Pepe and Floki and all of those crazy meme coins absolutely blowing up. And this is an absolutely fantastic sign. Let me explain why. So what we can see here is if we go down, 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 let's go over to their number of new addresses on the Solana network. We saw a massive pullback over the last year. I mean, over 10 million new addresses at one point, all the way down to what many people would say is about three to four million. Now, although that was a pretty bad sign, especially after everything that happened with the FTX, we started to get a little bit of a reversal here. And even in the moments in which February, March, and April have all been pretty ugly for Solana's price, we're still seeing the number of new addresses completely and consistently starting to see some growth, which indicates that although the price is falling, the value of Solana as a whole very well could be increasing. And considering the fact that we believe that what Solana is doing right now could be placing itself into an accumulation zone that will lead to a breakout to the upside, this is a very, very good case for it to say that that very well may be true. And so, of course, as we do go forward, we have to consistently pay attention to what is happening in things like this as we do get these new narratives playing out because historically that has been what has you know led Solana to see as much growth as it has and so because we are seeing that people are still using Solana when Bitcoin and Ethereum struggle it tells me that it very easily could be one of those cryptos that's seeing the absolutely amazing growth into the future here and it's not something that is losing all of its value by the day and so with that said I am still accumulating my Solana and I hope you guys do enjoy my thesis of the day as to why I believe Solana is in a pretty good buying zone so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and make sure that you do check out the description below because there are a bunch of offers and rewards that you can receive there. But with that said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.